this Randy Mountain Nurse Farm. All right, we got this chicken coop done. We had to do some running this morning to pick up some supplies for uh, an upcoming our, uh, job. Our job. But the fella wanted this chicken coop, so we're finally getting together on it. But it's a uh, four by five. I built it and I realized it's a little bit bigger than what I. For the small coop that we. For the small coop. I normally do a three by four, but I've done a four by five. Right. And that way it'll house. Because you can't never just get four or five chickens. You've got to get. You're going to get more chickens. <laughs> yeah, you never. It's kind of like potato chips. You can't have just one. Yeah. You can't <laughs> have just one. you got to have several of them. Now, he made the ramp out of cedar. So they'll walk up the nice little ramp. Yep. This is so you can get in the coop. Yeah, this is so you can clean it. And I put the limbs and stuff in there for them to perch on. Uh, actually, these limbs are um, old, tobacco old tobacco spears. A friend of ours is, uh, they tore down a barn that they had, and uh, that actually came out of their barn. So old tobacco sticks. But here's the the nesting boxes. I went in and made it a little bit different. I've made the others come off like that, but always water runs in there somehow or another. So I make this where it's just a door. Got two latches on it. And it just folds down. Then you can just reach in there and collect your eggs. Right. Also, he made this... Um, here, lift it back up, baby. It's kind of like a little landing for it to sit on. Really neat. I mean... A little 45 just a little 45 just that way you can actually put you know your put basket, your basket or you whatever can. and yeah. the tailgate on the chicken house <laughs> yeah tailgate on the chicken <laughs> you need to tighten that little screw up a little bit yeah but and it's all just lap siding yeah. he did do the cedar around the bottom simply because well of rot cedar doesn't really rot so and then we trimmed it out um there's netting up here that way they'll have some good ventilation there's also up here there's ventilation so that way no predator actually could get in there yeah uh, they could crawl up over but it, they'd have a hard time getting yeah it. they can come through the door yeah we're putting it inside a fenced in area Right. So, I mean, they'd have to come through the fence to get into them. Well, the only thing I could think that would even remotely would be maybe a snake. No. You don't think a snake would? I'd probably climb up there. But, uh. Because we've had a I've snake I've never had ours. any trouble. I mean, snakes. But yeah. If if a snake is big enough, all it's going after is eggs. It's not going to kill your chickens. Right. Unless you got little chickens, then it'll catch little, them and eat them. Yeah, little baby but, chicks. Uh, and if it's a little snake. It ain't gonna last long with chickens because they'll eat. eat. Yeah, they'll, they'll take care of. <laughs> yeah, they're like if their chickens are like our chickens, they're like little raptors. <laughs> oh yeah. So nice little, nice little coop you made, and uh, this gentleman's picking it up what Saturday. Yeah. And I think we just had a chicken go <laughs> up the little ramp, maybe, because our chickens have to get the final approval of it. Yeah. We got a chicken in there. <laughs> Silly bird. Every chicken house I build, the chickens come in it. And they check it out. And then... Every playhouse he builds, the chickens come in and <laughs> check it out. Yeah. But this is, I mean, very, very good, sturdy, so, simple. Rustic chicken house. It all last a few years. It ain't what you buy from tractor supply and stuff. Actually, I think this will last a lot longer than what you buy at box oh, yeah, stores. It'll last a lot. It's not, I mean, this is actual wood versus pressed yeah. particle board. Yeah. I mean, if they stain it, keep it stained. Or painted. Oh, yeah. No. We did put red tin on the roof. Simply, that's what we had. And the gentleman said, yeah, that would be great. But uh, that's what he's done. It took, I mean, all in all, you could do this in what, one day? But yeah, you've... You stretched it out all week simply oh, yeah. because. I've done a little bit, work a little bit here, yeah. a little bit there. But... Yeah, he had other jobs he had to be doing, barn projects and different things. So he it's stretched nice it out. Coop. If they put it inside a pen, that way 
chickens will have somewhere to get in the shade. Get underneath. In the you could actually fill that up with sand. That way they would have their dust area. Their dust area. That underneath, it'd be like a little playpen. Right. <laughs> or a play <laughs> sandbox. They're a chicken sandbox. Yeah, True. A chicken sandbox underneath that, and that way they could have that for dusting. Uh, and I mean, and this easily would hold 10, 12. Easily. Yeah, it holds. Yeah. And the way, you know, food is now, I mean, it's a little bit costly getting into them. But, you know, if you got, you know, if you want to know where your food's coming from. Or, you're, you're not going to make money. No. Chickens. You're not going to make money. But you're not going to make money selling eggs. You're, no. Don't, the only satisfaction chicken is you get to mess with them. It's going to cost you more in feed than it would just buy eggs. Right, but you know where they're you know coming. Where your eggs are they're coming fresh. From. Yeah, and what they've ate. Yes. You know what they've ate, and they live a happy life out. Ours live a happy life out here on the grass. Right. It, well, it's and something to me just to know where everything comes from. Well, also, especially I think about kids and their 4-H projects and different things like that. This is wonderful to get kids involved oh, yeah. in little animals. And a lot of people say, oh, but salmonella is salmonella. Well, people, if you wash your hands, you ain't going to have a problem. Yeah. You would have... Chickens are a little salmonella factor. Yeah, but it's the same thing if you go to the grocery store and you get a, you know, chicken and well, take it out of the more, package. The more you expose to it, it's almost like you... I talked to a vet one time. He came to the barn and we was talking about the diseases and stuff at cows and stuff. He said, well, you're around so many things. He said, you're not going to get it. You're already been exposed to it. Right. So you're, you're not going to catch it because you've already been exposed to all it. It's when everybody lives in such a sterile life anymore. In city life. I mean, everything's sterile. you got to... We need germs. Germs is good. Yeah. And everybody just, everybody's just so sterile. It's, it's, that's why we're getting all these diseases and everything else because everybody's just. Well, years ago, kids played outside. They played in the dirt. They yep. made mud pies. Oh, yeah. They weren't sitting in the house no. on a Game Boy or whatever. They actually got out and played in the dirt and got dirty and, you know, and was around all that. And nowadays, kids don't do that. And then you wonder why your kids get sick because they go outside. Well, it's because they've not been exposed to anything. Yep. Exposure. Right. Now, I will say this. We need to remember the people over, was it Turkey that they had that big old earthquake? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I mean. They have a lot of earthquakes in Turkey. Yeah. But it was, we was watching the news this morning. And it was just devastating. They said, what, 1,500 people? Mm, something like that. Yeah. I mean. That just, I mean, that's something that you don't plan for. You don't know when it can happen. It, our ground can shake right now and, and happen. But, you know, we need to remember those people in prayer and, you know, and keep, you know, keep them in our thoughts and whatever us as a nation can help them. We need to think about that. So, well, anything else you want to add to this one, dear? No, nope, just like and subscribe. We're slowly growing. Yeah. If you hit that like button, that helps a lot. Yeah, like and subscribe. Hit that subscribe and button. Comment. Please. Yeah, we love hearing from everybody. I I was uh, chatting the other day with a, a person in Germany, and yeah. it was so neat because, you know, they're all the way over on the other side of the country, you know. And She said the translation may be lost, <laughs> yeah. but we got it. Yeah, we understood. <laughs> we understood. So. But yeah, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little bell, and you'll be notified whenever there's a new video. Yep. And anything that you want us to do more of. If you want to see more sawmill work, or if you want to see more building work, or uh, animal, let us know. Because, yep. I mean, we just kind of do a little bit of everything. This is our life. This is, you know, who we are. So, Well, remember, we love you. God loves you. Y'all have a blessed day.